All right, how's everybody doing today? All right, so inner and outer Taurus and um, the um, evolution of Taurus. So let's get into this. All right, so not there. Okay, so um, the inner you. Um, you need order in your life or else you'll have anxiety. You tend to cut yourself off from new, new and fresh experiences. Having beautiful things is important to you. Um, you have close friends rather than many acquaintances. You are happiest when involved in a caring, committed relationship. You are de deeply sensitive and with strangers you feel uh, self-conscious. Um, this is how other people um, perceive you. Um, you are thought of as a serene influence, someone to depend on, admire for your organized mind. Um, people do not realize that you are sensitive and easily hurt, probably because you put on this exterior that you're tough like a bull. Um, since you love food, um, people trust your opinion on different types of food. Um, you're creative, and your creative mind is welcomed. Your financial advice is sought because you're good with money. Um, people do not like it when you're dogmatic, and even if you are right, they do not like that, they do not like it that you're unyielding. Um, hold on, contact issues. Ah. Okay, um, so for the evolution, one of the things that Taurus needs to know is basically the teachings of Buddha and embody those lessons inside your Taurus being. Um, Buddha lived in the age of Taurus. Um, and taught that detachment from desire is how we achieve and experience the light. He taught how to awaken the third eye, or the eye of the bull. When the inner eye of consciousness is open, the expression of the soul can be manifested in daily life through guidance and intuition. Um, the, full, the fullest expression of our human um, beginnings can be achieved when we are awakened within. Okay, so I don't think I mentioned this before, but when I start reading the signs, I'm reading like the part of the sign that's asleep. It's not like awakened in any way. Um, so to um, um, so this is the sleeping bull. You have a fear of poverty is a common theme for the sleeping bull. The fear is so deep that even when the bull has succeeded um, in accumulating wealth, you still feel that you're poor. And if this fear of lack persists, no amount will be enough to make you feel secure. Um, the common thread is a fearful psychological state, uh, um, needing something, um, but um, going for the wrong object. The basic lesson to be learned is the shift from dependency on external materialistic values to reliance on inner ones, your spiritual being. So to wake yourself up, you must figure out what is it that you need inside and how will this spirituality change your life. Um, you um, criticize others instead of confronting your own issues. Um, you're controlled by your unconscious emotional desires. Um, and this makes you be, this turns you into somebody who can be compulsive and even predatory. Um, you have this urge you know, to desire beautiful things and have wonderful experiences. 
you are um, very big into pleasure seeking, especially physical pleasure, um, intimacy. Um, you have a desire to pursue physical objects and promote um, emotional sensations and are driven by your stubborn determination to get what you want. Um, and you think that this is the good life to, ach to um, achieve all these sensual pleasures. Um, but you will learn otherwise shortly. Okay, the Awakening Bull. Okay, so the Awakening Bull needs to be become conscious of duality between the spirit and matter before you can learn to discriminate in the physical world. You must examine your value structure and find out what will give you um, the security that you crave. Because that's really what a lot of this is boiling down to is security, the foundation, um, which you know, I was talking about before in the beginning, and, and you can even look at the Age of Taurus. The Age of Taurus was the beginning of civilization. It was Sumer, Egypt, you know, everything was about fertile farming, um, giving, giving birth to the land, cultivating the crops, the birth of civilization, the birth of many things. And that's what you're trying to find first, but you get distracted by all the sensations that this magical material world gives you. So, you must dig deep to access the hidden resources in your own psyche. You must examine your own personal values, align them with your inner core, and eliminate the ones that are negative, that are dragging you down, that are social conditioning, or, or uh, that was poor parenting. Um, and you must also learn not to depend on the material world for this security. Because the material world, I mean, the constant theme of it is change. So you're not going to find that security in an environment that creates so much chaos. So you must free yourself of this bondage and insecurities and the physical attachments, whether it be by money, possessions, situations, or relationships. And don't lie to yourself. The bull must rid yourself of... You also got to rid yourself of this self-defeatist attitude. A victim trance and blaming mentalities because right now I mean you defeat yourself if if there if you have a worst enemy it is yourself and you're distracted by the physical world which keeps you away from yourself and you need to work you need to ignore this reality and focus on the reality with them because everybody's their own solar system well, not solar system. Everybody's their own universe. Um, so, freedom and security are born with self-worth, self-appreciation, autonomy, self-reliance, and the creative experiences of your own unique, often artistic talents. Taurus needs to learn that shame and guilt have to just be put away. Who gives a fuck what anybody else has to say? Total surrender to unrestricted physical pleasure is necessary to release the energy trapped in your body. Okay. Um, the primary test for you will be to redirect your desire nature toward the values that will lead you to true satisfaction, security, and happiness. The Awakening Bull knows that you must find more rewarding and less destructive ways to nurture yourself and express yourself freely. And in return, your energy, um, sorry, your energy inward, your artistic and creative uh, potency is revealed. And 
there is no greater teacher and healer than nature itself is what Taurus will end up finding if they pursue that path. Uh, for Taurus, the apparent duality is between the physical wealth and the spirit and spirituality, the outer world and the inner world, materialism versus spiritualism. The challenge is to accept matter and integrate it as an expression of spiritual values. The body must be honored and used as a vehicle for higher expression of the soul. Your physical body must be cared for to facilitate the masterful use by the mind and emotions to serve your inner purpose. So, in, in other words, think about the, the symbology again with the, um, the Taurus symbol with the little crown thing on, on the head of the circle. Um, that little half circle is kind of like represented by the moon, and we know that the moon is hollow. But what does the moon do? It fills itself up with the sun's light. And you, too, are, um, like, sim symbolistically like that. You need to allow yourself to be filled with light. And it's through being filled with this light that... Everything that you desire will manifest. Oh, um, indeed, the Awakening Bull is a true healer and a white ma magician um, who is capable of spiritualizing matter by infusing it with light. The Awakened Bull must pass some of the most difficult human tests. You have achieved the state of consciousness of mind over matter. Your will commands your own desires. Your soul's version of spiritual reality is awakened and seen through the cosmic eye of the bull, which sees only light from the eye of the bull, um, radiates a steady beam of light which clearly points the way of artful spiritual living. Your spiritual presence inspires um, your expression of divine will um, will lead to this and your artistic expression of life frees uplifts and transforms everyone and everything you come in contact with so that's the great awakening of the bull um, so and, and you necessarily don't have to like be like Buddha. I mean, Jesus and some of the other ones teach about the same things. But if you want to learn how to... I would say Buddha is probably a, a very, very good one because I've studied it, especially when it comes to the art of meditating and, and understanding um, how to just let go and be at peace and be able to just watch things and just think about things and when you think about things how you watch them being created or you can stand by and just watch how things move in time and you can understand the direction of these energies and when you understand the direction of these energies you will be able to put a little influence there to hopefully to where it moves towards this direction instead of starting back over so, you have a lot of spiritual gifts once you realize it, Taurus. And, um, so, the next one I'm going to be doing, um, the difference between the male and the female energies. And depending on how long that may be, I might go into a little bit of the health portion. I'm not quite sure yet. I, I imagine I will be able to. But it'll be about male and female Taurus, the way how you attract people and get into relationships, and what's the best way to seduce you. Um, but I'm going to leave that for now. I hope everybody enjoyed this, and you all have a good one. Peace. Bye.